Got the PS Resins PV minnow on. It's the white color. I'm gonna try to get some bluefish out here. A lot of blues right now biting in the back bays here on the island. It's windy out today. We're approaching the low tide. Wind's blowing pretty strong out of the east. Probably like 15 miles per hour. there. Alright, let's switch it up. I'm going to take the PV minnow off, throw on a top water plug. Go with the good old Super Strike bottleneck popper. It's got the single hook in the back. Yellow white color. Bluefish love the top water plugs. There we go, cast way out. Getting blown up. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Got him. He kept he kept hitting at that. Yeah, see these bluefish love top water. Staying below the surface. These blues are notorious for jumping and throwing the hook. So I got um 30 pound braid on right now with the 60 pound floral leader. Should hold up with these toothy critters. There we go, we got him in the back hook, it looks like. Yep, back hook. Nice gator blue. Come on, let me lift you. Oh, come on. Open up. There we go. Let's see if we could get them without pliers. That's the good part about using a single hook. Look at them chomping down like that. Crazy. Ooh, big blue. All right, let's get them back in. Oh, wrong way. There he goes. Nice. Now right, let's just inspect the leader real quick. Oh yeah, leader's fine. Kind of stinks. I wanted to catch on the PV minnow, but uh, I was working that for like a half hour. Not a tap, and everyone around me is hooking up. Throw on top water first kiss. <laughs> There we go, that's a good cast. Right in that rip, we're gonna get one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're on. Hit way out there. Knew we would get him on that cast. It's 
feels like a good one. Oh man, these things, they kill your arm after a while. This is a good one. See, he's on that back hook. Easy, easy. See if we can lip this guy pretty easy. Come on, open up. So one thing with these blues, it's pesties. They like to flop all around. There we go, we got them. Let's see if we can get this without the pliers. Yep, hook came right out. Ooh, another nice blue. These are probably at least 10 pounders. Just want to get them back in. I'm not harvesting them, so we don't want to keep them out of the water too long. Ooh, there he goes. There he is, yep. All right, let's check the leader real quick again. You gotta check it after every bluefish. Yeah, we're smooth. If you feel any little bit of fraying in the leader, you wanna switch that up. All right, I'm just gonna wade back out here. Man, that fish gave my arms a workout. It's been a while, haven't really been catching any fish. Well, I haven't been fishing really much lately, so. It definitely feels good to be hooking up again. Oh yeah, this is the cast. Here we go. Give it some big pops. Yeah, there we are. Nice, he blew it up on surface, good. Knew those big pops would get their attention. Oh, airborne. That was pretty cool. My other blue stayed down. This guy actually wanted to jump out. of seaweed on the line. Yeah, he feels good. They're all about the same size, like 10 pounders. Yeah. 
Another one on the back hook. Yeah, that's a nice one. That might actually be bigger than the other two. He's easy, I'll get you out. Ooh, the hook fell right out. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. He's a little sandy. He's ready to go. <laughs> hey, let me open my gripper. All right, there he goes. He went to the side, he's going out. All right, so I had to make a battery swap on the GoPro. Took a little break. Let's see if we can still catch some more blues. Some of the guys that were here left, they said it's slowing up, but I don't know, I still see some being caught every now and then. Gonna keep throwing the Super Strike. If we get into some more, then maybe I wanna switch it up, try a different plug, do some more top water. Probably like a talking popper maybe or something. All right, let's make a move real quick. Looks like people are hitting them a little further down in the bay. All right, just made a kind of a short move. Just moving down in the bay a little bit. There was a lot of boats just right here before they were really hooking up a lot. They moved in a little bit further. They're just catching that drift. Oh, oh, there we go, fish on. Yeah. He hit pretty close. Yeah, really close. Yeah, like in the calm part. Yeah. Oh, he's going right through all the grass, seaweed. It's a smaller one. Oh, he popped off. Quick release. Should I try to launch it at him? <laughs> it's gonna go way out there too. Watch, right, so I'm gonna go right next to him. <laughs> oh, he got one. I'm probably gonna snag him. Yo, oh, we're getting some wakes. There we go, fish on. Yeah, right next to all the boats too. That's cool. Let's see if we could get back to the beach, unhook them. Don't throw it. He knows I'm getting him close to the beach. He doesn't want to come. Oh, he just threw it right here. That was a nice one too. All right guys, so I made another move. 
seems like the bite is getting a little more sporadic now. Like we're not really getting onto them heavy like we were earlier. So we'll cast a few more, keep throwing this top water. Look at the teeth marks, oh yeah. You know, I guess we'll see if we get any others. If not, I know this video was, um, you know, kind of not planned well. I didn't really have an intro in it, but hey, I just wanted to show you guys some bluefish action I was getting into. You know, just try to get some footage for you guys before I head down to Florida. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, definitely subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. And um, hey, if I catch more fish, keep watching. It's gonna be on the end of this video. So, um, all right guys, catch you on the next one.